Hi, I'm Jackie Furman. I'm an artist, and I'd like to take this opportunity to show you some of my work, tell you a little bit about myself, what I do. Uh, mostly portrait work and uh, renderings of buildings and whatnot. I've studied um, under a Father William Shelton in the Villas, New Jersey, for about four years, and that is the sum and total of my uh, formal education in art. What I do is pretty much self-taught. I've read a great deal and studied uh, the masters and some of the American artists such as Wyeth. I paint in oils, pastels, watercolor, egg tempera, and enjoy it so very much. I thought I would just get it on YouTube. Something else that's new to me completely is YouTube, and we'll see how this goes. Anyway, I'd like to show you some of my work. Um, again, I uh, love to do portraits. I would like to commission my work. Most of what I do is commissioned, and um, I'm very successful with it sometimes, and we'll see how it goes here. I hope you like what I do. These are some of the paintings I've done. Uh, some are old, some are new, and uh, we'll start with the large portrait the, in the middle there. That's a portrait of my grandmother from a photograph, a sepia photograph taken of her in 1920. Um, actually, a little bit earlier than that, she was uh, 25 years old, and she died a couple of years after that portrait was, or after that picture was taken. Um, it was sepia, and I used my father's coloring to um, to uh, color the portrait, to color her skin and eyes and whatnot. She was uh, a beautiful girl, a debutante, and uh, I loved her picture so much, and um, my father always felt her loss, so we did this portrait. It's in oil, it's fine oils, and um, that is probably the largest portrait I've ever done, but that's the type of work I do in fine oils. I'm also... Um, doing what they call a la prima portraiture, which would be like this one here, of the young woman who was captured in the Pulitzer Prize winning photo uh, in National Geographic many, many years ago, and her face captured me, it just haunted me, and I had to do her. This portrait takes approximately 40 to 50 man hours to accomplish, while the a la prima portraiture is done in just a couple of hours. Again, that's in oils. It looks like acrylics, but it's not. It's in oil paint. The top picture here is a picture I found in Architectural Digest, and I just loved that, uh, that picture. And I'm going to come back to this painting and take this um, part of the wall out. It's a niche or niche in the wall of that building, which I did not... I incorporated it only because it was there and wish I had not done that. I'm going to take it out and I'll show you how I'm going to do that at some point in the future and paint the wall back in there leaving this out of it. I think it detracts from the painting, but other than that, I like that painting. Uh, this is a picture here, on, again in oils, of the parade of boats off the New Jersey coast. The um, what are they called? Catamarans? Hobie cats. Hobie cats. Off. They're beautiful. They're just vividly colored, just like you see them there. And again, that's in oil. This is a picture of my little granddaughter in progress. I have not finished it, and at some point you'll see some of the work that I do on this portrait. This will have a tree in the back here. This is finished for the most part, but this part in here will be some um, a landscape of flowers and grasses flowing up to about this point, and um, we'll finish off the picture. Again, that's something I can't wait to finish. This picture is a my one of my very first watercolors of an old Cecil County barn. That uh, barn is just wonderful. I just love that old barn. It's and very nice. I tried um, watercolor with this guy, and and succeeded. Um, I love that barn, but that's my first attempt at a full-scale landscape in watercolor. This picture again, a picture of my mother in her wedding dress. Um, I have not finished it. She's beautiful. But it's not um, not far from finishing, and I'll um, progress with that as we maybe in another video. This is another portrait, or actually landscape. I'm sorry, a watercolor. Um, I studied the work of Bierstadt, 
a German painter who came to America and did some beautiful paintings out in the West in the late 1800s. And I just loved what he did with clouds, and I tried to uh, emulate what he did. His use of light is very His nice. His use of light and the way he, he, oh, just beautiful use of light, just beautiful. And um, I hope he's not turning over in his grave with my <laughs> attempt at, at working uh, in the same manner. But that's a watercolor of a landscape, a photograph of a landscape in Pennsylvania. I love that's the beautiful. rolling hills. Very beautiful. Thank you, dear. This is um, a little, another little Cecil County barn. That was my first barn, and it's in oils. Um, a lovely little barn just out in nowhere with a little residue of snow left on the ground. I like the way you did your background in that. That's Thank very you. nice how you can see it all blend in. Kind of impressionistic and kind of not realistic at the same time. And um, I just, the, the picture was just beautiful and I loved it, so I painted it. Very nice and, picture. And uh, that's pretty much it for now. And during the, if uh, I can, I'll show you in future videos the way I do some of these things. I hope you like it. Yeah, I'm sure they will, and I'm sure we'll all learn together. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, all right.